सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक मैथ्स मेला टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर ग्रेड फोर चैप्टर फोर्टीन डेटा हैंडलिंग पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड थ्री दर इज अर कोड प्रोवाइडेड ऑन द राइट साइड ऑफ द पेज स्कैनिंग विच यू कैन रीच आउट टू द एडिशनल रिसोर्सेज टू दिस चैप्टर ऑन दिस पेज देर इज अ पिक्चर ऑफ अ गर्ल with a mic holding in her hand we also have pictures of some students talking to each other the first one says i like mathematics and art very much the second girl says i like languages very much i enjoy listening to and reading stories the third girl says i really enjoy reading about the environment and like to play different sports in another picture we have a boy and two girls they are in a library the boy says let's find out from our class which subject they like the most girl says let us make a question to ask the class look at the questions asked by rohan and anjali pick the question that is the most appropriate for finding the most like subject why do you think so discuss with your friends and teacher in a classroom we can find some students sitting and rohan is asking questions which subjects do you like some children answering mathematics languages arts some of them saying physical education mathematics the world around us some of them answering as arts and languages others answering the world around us mathematics languages arts and the other boy says languages the world around us and physical education page number 204 now Anjali is asking which subjects do you like the most to her class students the students reply as mathematics language arts mathematics language physical education the world around us Anjali and Rohan recorded the children's answers that is responses to the above questions as follows they wrote m for mathematics l for languages t for the world around us a for arts and pe for physical education rohan says i have recorded 45 children's responses anjali says yes there are a total 45 children in our grade there's a picture of rohan and anjali with the record of their notings on a sheet of paper as t a p e a m p e and so on look at the children's responses above and answer the following questions the number of children who like mathematics the most is dash the number of children who like language the most is dash next The number of children who like the world around us the most is dash. Next, the number of children who like physical education the most is dash. Next, the number of children who like arts the most is dash. You are expected to write down the answers in this dashes. Page two hundred and five. Let's fill. the above information in this table we have two columns which are captioned as subjects and number of children mathematics as m we are supposed to fill up the number of children against it languages as l in brackets and number of children in front of it we need to fill up the world around us as t we need to write down the number of children 
against this. Physical education PE within brackets. Number of children is to be written in the dash provided in front of it. Arts within brackets A. We are supposed to fill up number of children in front of this. Now, observe the above table and answer the following questions. First, what is the most common favorite subject among the children? Dash. What is the least common favorite subject among the children? Dash. Fill up these dashes. There are the following two ways to display the information. First one is, we are making a note of T, A, P, E, A, M, P, E, L, so on of the various subjects selected by students. In the second response, we have a tabular column in which we have first column for subjects and second column for number of children. First one has mathematics M with number of children in front of it, languages L with number of children in front of it, the world around us T and number of children in front of it and physical education PE with number of children mentioned against it and art say again number of children mentioned against it. Which way of displaying information is easier to understand and why? Dash, write down your choice. Note for teachers, discuss how a question needs to be framed and what words should be used. Page number 206 Colorful Golas During school, lunch break, children rush to eat gola of their favorite color. Rohan and Anjali record the golas eaten by different children. They went to eat the one that is most eaten by others. They both start recording the golas eaten by the children. On the right side of the page, we have group of children standing with the man who is selling golas in different flavors and we have representation of Rohan and Anjali. They have recorded the number of golas eaten by children. Rohan has represented his data with first one in orange, then second one in blue, third one in red and fourth one as yellow. And in front of these golas, he represents the boy and girl with the help of pictures. We have here total number of children eating this orange gola is 8. Then number of children eating blue gola is 5. And number of boys and girls eating this red gola is 7. And number of children eating this yellow gola is 10. Anjali has represented the same data with the help of golas. First one she has represented with the help of 8 golas. Second one with the help of 5 blue golas and in the third one with the help of red seven golas and the last yellow golas are ten in number. So look at the information given here. Color the line drawing of the golas appropriately. Question number one. Which color ice gola do the children eat? A. The most. B. The least. How do you know? Question number 2. Which color gola would Anjali and Rohan have bought? Page number 207. Question number 3. Which color golas did boys eat the most? Question number 4. Which color golas did girls eat the most? Question number 5. Which of the ways of representing data did you use to answer these questions and why? Activity 
chess or cricket find out from your classmates how many of them play only chess only cricket both or neither you are provided with a box to write down the information inside this box now let us organize the above data in the table we have three columns the first column captioned as nature of games second one as number of girls third one as number of boys second row first column reads chess but not cricket we are supposed to fill up the dashes in number of girls and number of boys third row first column cricket but not chess we are supposed to fill up number of girls and number of boys and in the fourth row both number of girls and number of boys are to be filled up in the fifth row neither number of girls and number of boys are to be filled up that is the nature of games selected by the students has to be collected in this table and written against the number of girls and number of boys answer these questions based on the data collected from your grade question number 1 who plays chess the most dash within brackets we are provided boys oblique girls second who plays cricket the most dash within brackets you are provided boys oblique girls question number 3 how many children play both types of games dash we are supposed to fill up the dashes provided in the questions page 208 bal mela anjali and rohan have recorded the number of people who ate fruit charts and sandwiches in the bal mela over 3 days using a pictograph on the right side of the page we have picture of bal mela with many children and their parents standing in front of anjali fruit chart and parul sandwiches it has been decorated with the help of balloons anjali fruit chart has the following data day 1 there are seven fruit charts day 2 there are 14 fruit charts and in day 3 there are nine fruit charts for rohan sandwiches we have the pictograph displaying days and number of sandwiches day 1 12 sandwiches and day 2 16 sandwiches day 3 18 sandwiches let us do first complete the table items and total sold items we have fruit charts and sandwiches we need to write down the number of fruit charts sold and number of sandwiches sold in the blank spaces provided in the table question number 2 on which day were the most sandwiches sold question number 3 which item had the highest sale on day 2 question number 4 complete the table given here circle the day that had the highest sales day and total sales day 1 total sales is equal to dash day 2 total sales is equal to dash and day 3 total sales is equal to dash you are supposed to write down the numbers in these blank spaces chapter 14 ends here maths mela you were just listening to this audio book textbook of mathematics for grade 4 narration swarnlata sharma sound recordist prasoon kumar production assistant 
सौम्या मलिक डायरेक्टेड एंड प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय विमलेश चौधरी दिस ऑडियो बुक इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय सी आई ई टी एंड सी ई आर टी न्यू डेली इंडिया